boy Elijah man we back with another video today's video is going to be more about you know God you know my upbringing with God and being a, a actual follower and believer in Christ and, and my story and my testimony on, on how it all happened man a few days ago and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can relate to this you know but I always been a believer in Christ you know my mom was a Christian always as a kid and in, in, in our childhood always bringing us to church, taking us to church, or we spreading the word of God, you know, and, and long story short, you know, I'm 19 years old now. And, you know, my mom always, like I said, she always brung, spoke the word of God, always, always went, brung us to church. You know, it wasn't until a few days ago that I was asking God for that, that, that connection, man. And it's crazy because I was telling my mom, like, I just don't feel that, that, that connection, like, you know, I believe in God, man. I got the Last Supper here. I got, you know what I'm saying, Psalms 27, 1. I got, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got blessed three crosses right here. So it's like, I always been a believer. I knew God, you know, like I always, but I never felt that, um, that connection from him. Um, I'm in my bed and, you know, I'm watching, you know, podcasts of, of some Christians talking, but it all started when I was on TikTok. I'm, I'm just scrolling on TikTok and, and Christian stuff keeps popping up. Uh, TikTok videos about how Muslims is converting to Christian Christianity and just all types of just God related stuff, man. And I got to this, it was like my fourth video that I went past, and I'm like, you know what? I just felt something calling me. Click on the video, I'm watching it. It goes from that video to another YouTube video of of this dude that I've been watching for a minute named Phil Colfer, man. He's amazing dude. I've been following him for a few weeks, man. He's a great dude, and he's also a follower of God. And it just all started from that. Meanwhile, this is like three in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, AM. So I'm I'm not even supposed to be up at this time, but I'm up and um clicking through YouTube videos now. Now I'm watching a podcast of Christian that he's talking about. Then I go to this, this is where it all it got real. I'm laying down and, and the pastor's talking about, you know, the signs and how to hear from God. Like and, and meanwhile, it's crazy how God works because the that video I clicked was a year old. And that video I clicked I felt like it was specifically for me. The things he was talking about, he was just talking about like the signs of God, how to hear from God. You know, he's just talking about all that good stuff. And like, as he's talking about it, he said, he, he was talking about how the signs, you, you're ignoring it, that th those coincidence isn't just a coincidence. Like that coincidence is God. Only God knew how, how like my whole life, like I always believed in God, but I never had that encounter with God. I never heard the voice. I never, like I never physically or even mentally heard, you know what I'm saying? I never had that encounter. You know, like I said, it was like three something in the morning. I'm not, I'm supposed to be in bed. I got sparring in the morning. Anyways, you know that. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting tired. So I lay down, I, I keep the video playing. He's just talking about the signs of it and, and everything. And I'm just laying down, my eyes closed. And I just start praying like, God, like may you block all evilness and distractions from the music, just everything, just all the bad stuff, man, that life you that, that we dealt with. I'm just closing my eyes and I'm praying. I'm just asking God for the signs, man, just to, you know, just, I'm just praying. Like, and I actually, like, I feel like that was the first time that I actually prayed, prayed. Like I, it wasn't no fast prayer. It wasn't no, it was, it was deep. Bro, I started praying and I just asked for a sign and I started bleeding from my nose. <laughs> like, man, when I tell you, I, I, I started breaking down and just crying and just, I caught the chills. I was, I had goosebumps. I, I was leaking. I'm talking about leaking from my nose. And the last time I had a nosebleed, I can't even remember. I think I was like probably 10, 11 years old at that, maybe younger. So man, the fact that you know, I've always been a believer in Christ, my background with my mom. It's crazy how God just started, he just started planting seeds. Boom, boom. It started from the, the TikTok videos. Boom, more Christian videos. Boom, then YouTube videos that was talking about, you know, hearing God, how to hear from God, that the signs, how to, you know what I'm saying? And I just closed my eyes and prayed and I started bleeding from my nose, man. Like, God is good, man. And one thing I also wanted to bring up it's, it's just crazy how God works, how he puts people in your life, how he takes people out of your life. God really works in mysterious ways, man. And little by little, I'm just, I'm seeing myself falling more and more in love with, with Jesus, man. And as I'm watching a video, you know, I was in the crib right now on a laptop watching this dude named Noel. He's a, um, he's a YouTuber, also a follower in Christ and believer that, 
talks about God and it, it I could relate to him so much because he he has a 11 11 um tattoo and for all y'all don't know that's the evil eye that's the the four for four you know what I'm saying that the angel the angel numbers he's at the mall he's preaching the word of God to people and you know talking to them and and he was like you know I got this 11 11 on my neck man I thought it was a part of God I, like I just thought you know I was into the wrong things I'm thinking whatever's trending it was just crazy like how everything is is falling into place and how i'm learning and falling more and more in love with god and as you know i have a 4-4 tattoo on my neck i would see that that 4 every single day that's why i really got it tatted i wish i would have done my research more and really knew that that really wasn't part of god you know I, i'm just happy that i'm i know now like look how i just i'm on youtube watching a random dude and I'm watching him at the moon preach the word of God. And he got the same meaning of the tattoo here. That's not of God. That's not a part of God. And how I got the same. It's just crazy. And it's little things like that. That people don't pick up on. That they're ignoring the signs. It's crazy how like a YouTube video just popped up on my, on my feed. Just I ain't want to, you know, talk my butt off. Or become this nerd of religious. You know, I just I want to tell you that God is good. You know. If y'all want to go on this journey with me, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get deeper and deeper into learning about more about God and his story and just following his word and preaching his word. And I want y'all to be in the journey of it too, man, because if I could change, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be overnight. Nothing happens overnight. But if I could change, I know y'all could too. And, you know, that's like with anything in life, man, like changing is hard. You know, I come from nothing. Like, you know, I done lost it all. I, done, I went through ups and downs. Like, I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff, like. I was doing drugs, I was popping pills, I was drinking every day, dropped out of school freshman year, I was in a gang, I was wilding, like, and it's crazy how, like, you know, how people could change, but it, it won't happen overnight. You know, life is hard, but I feel like, you know, if you, you take that time out and you really, you know, you commit to it and you sacrifice and you really put your mind to it, anything is possible, man. So the same attitude I have towards boxing and everything, and my, my mental stay on, on boxing or how, like, I changed and, and really stood disciplined. I'm going to bring that over to God now and really, you know, do that same thing. It's not going to happen overnight, but it, it all starts like that with the mental. I, I appreciate y'all. If y'all watch this video, y'all can relate. Or even if y'all new to this channel, you know, God loves you. Um, You know, hop on this journey with me. But, you know, God is good, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking out with the kid. Yeah, man, it's going to be good. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. God loves you. God is great. Have a blessed day. I'm going to catch you on the next one.